right, so uh, I guess yeah, I posted about a uh, user script, and uh, I was in the process of kind of like putting everything together to kind of like release it and explain it. Uh, but basically, I'm just going to go over the features first. So there's this crate concept where you can basically save songs for later. Uh, you can download them all at once. Um, there's visual indicators. Once you've played or downloaded a song, um, basically tells you how many times you downloaded it. Kind of shows you where you left last off. Um, or if you've already downloaded or played a song. Um, there's keyboard control. So <clears throat> there's some shortcuts. Uh, Q. Anytime you push the Q key, it'll take you to your Q page. Um, S is for taking you to like the search box. So if you want to quickly search for a song. Um, the song that's playing, if you were to hit the X key, it would basically clear the play data and download data. So if you mistakenly played it or downloaded it, you could clear that out so that you know you haven't. Um, pushing the enter key actually opens a new tab with the song that's playing. Um, or, or I should say the song that's selected to be playing could be paused. Um, it opens it in a new tab so that if you were to be going through, um, let's say using the arrow keys, which basically handle um, back and forward, and then they also seek if you hold them in, into the song and back into the song. Um, but if you were to use those keys, for playback and you'd hit the enter key you could go through and if you wanted to download like specific versions for a song you could you know kick out five tabs for those five songs and download the the pieces that you wanted um, the up key toggles it in and out of your crate um, so back again that's to like that crate piece so like if, if I'm at work this is like extremely helpful because I can go on DJ City and I can flag everything I want to download and then when I get home I can download it on my laptop um, the download, um, it actually will download the song, so there's a priority to it because there could be multiple versions. Um, the priority is listed there. Um, the other piece are the, the hot links. So on the DJ City page, you will see um, little icons in the grid that say main, intro, acapella. If you click those, that supports downloading that version specifically. Um, so I'll go ahead and pull it up, but uh, the first time you run it, um, it's basically going to ask you for an email address so it knows who you are. And once it's um, once you input this, um, you, you you won't actually have to do that again. Um, so I'll go ahead and input that, and now up here at the top, it knows who I am. So if I wanted to change how I was, I could just simply uh, the page is still rendering. I don't know if my internet's dropping out. Um, if I were to click that, I could change it like this, and now I'm that user. <clears throat> so, I'm trying to think of the order we talked about. So, the crate piece, there's these little C keys, and they basically indicate a song's in your crate or not. So you can click them, and you can also, if you're playing a song, and you click the up key, you can toggle. So, um, just I'll go ahead and start with the playback piece, but the space bar is play pause. Left and right go up and down your songs. And then if you hold right, you see and you can see back with the left. Um, so that's kind of the playback piece. The inner thing I talked about where if you hit enter, it'll open that in a new tab. Um, so you can kind of keep those tabs messed as you need to. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, uh, you might have noticed, but see how some of these songs are grayed out well, specifically. Um, so this one here and this one because I've played it for more than two seconds. So if you play a song for more than two seconds, it'll basically be grayed out and that'll indicate that you've played it. Now if I refresh this page, it's going to know that I've already played those. So it keeps track of that. Um, and notice how if I hover over the track, it tells me download count and play count. Um, so I really don't want to download any of these songs because I might actually want these songs. So let me just use like Latin or something. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm going through and listening to these songs with the arrows. And let's say I want to download it. If I just hit the down key, that initiates the download. So it automatically breaks the song for you. 
um, and it also downloads the track. And again, there's an order to it. It uses this kind of priority right here. Um, same thing, well, that's a bad example, but if I wanted the, is this the dirty? Yeah, if I wanted the dirty on this song or the clean on this song, I could just click the appropriate version and it will download that version. Um, you'll also see, if I were to refresh this page, that it's going to know I've downloaded both of these songs and I've, and I've played this one. Um, so that's again, that's a history piece. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Yes, yeah, so if I'm anywhere and I push the S key, it automatically takes me to the search box. Um, so the crate thing is something that I'll go ahead and I'm pushing the up key to add these. So I'll just add these three. If I push the Q key, it takes me to my Q. Um, so you can see here, this is a standard Q, which you can do from the mobile app. I don't know why they haven't implemented it in the main app. Um, uh, but basically from here you have the ability to just sort of uh, remove things from your crate. Same thing applies as like a normal um, record view where you're looking at the, the songs and same controls and everything. So <clears throat> if I wanted to clear this one out, um, I could click that and it would remove that. Um, I could clear the entire crate. Or if I hit download all, that will actually initiate the download for all three of those tracks. And you can see those all got spun up there to download. Um, so, and, and then so if I want to clear this out, I hit the delete all, and at this point, my crate's empty. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, and, and it looked like you see a little lag there. There's a little bit of delay when you do download all because it doesn't want to, like, force your browser to download them all at once. Um, I mean, you could go through manually as well and click the icons and download them one by one, too, if you want specific versions. Um, but, yeah, I think that probably covers everything with the script um, yeah but um, really the, the biggest thing um, is just the ability to kind of use those arrow keys and just quickly you know, seek through songs you know I like this one um, yeah that's the biggest thing but if you actually go into a song um, I'm trying to find one that hasn't been rated as of yet but it auto rates it so it's going to be quick but you'll You'll see where it'll say review, and notice it automatically rated it, and now we can just download it straight from here. So yeah, I think that's it, but um, I'll post this up, I'll put some instructions on how to basically implement this into Firefox and, uh, and uh, Chrome, but, um, but yeah, I think that covers everything. So hopefully uh, it helps someone, and uh, if there's anything you could think of that might improve it, let me know, and I'll uh, try to make it happen.